can show it on, on our girl here as well because we have it available for you in the burgundy. And you saw some of the other colors. We have the charcoal, the olive, and the chocolate available for you. This is the more boring-ass cauliflower and it's making you have boring-ass life? Well, I am going to solve all your boring-ass cauliflower problems because so I'm going to show you how to take it to the next level, Debbie Wong style. Today, we're making sassy-ass cauliflower. So not only is this cauliflower super tasty, but it's going to come together in a snap. Two snaps. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a quick curry paste to rub all over my cauliflower. So in my food processor is a medium onion, one chili pepper, two garlic cloves, and two tablespoons of ginger. To that, I'm going to add one tablespoon of water, a drizzle of vegetable oil, and puree till smooth. No chunks, people and pop it into a bowl. A teaspoon of smoked paprika, a teaspoon of turmeric, and a teaspoon and a half of cumin seeds. And that, my friends, is the quickest curry paste ever. Actually, should I add some vinegar into this? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So, I would do two good pinches. here is a large head of cauliflower cut in pretty big florets. And I have it in an oven safe dish because we're going to throw it in the oven and roast it. So curry paste on the cauliflower. cauliflower, sassy as cauliflower. Final touch, I got some defrosted frozen peas. Pour them right over. A little sprinkling of salt on the peas. Got to season every layer. And a sprinkling of cilantro. Okay, let's give it a taste. It's so good, oh my god, it's so spicy. Cauliflower still has a good chew to it. You can taste all the spices. Delicious. Easy, sassy, delicious. Have it as a side. Have it wrapped up in a tortilla with some raita. Have it over rice. Possibilities are endless. Don't you dare boil any more cauliflower. And let's get next time.